Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Shelley Chapman, the e-learning manager at the Scots College, and my co-presenter is Susan Arley, who is the director of communications. And I've been with the Scots College since early 2014, and I started the conversation about our about the learning management system. And every time I started to talk about it, this was the look I got from teachers. It was a crisis. No one wanted to talk about it. No one wanted to use it. It wasn't working for us. So I started looking for a new LMS and quickly found that we sort of had two main players, Schoolbox and another product called Firefly. We trialled both of these and Schoolbox did a great job of coming up and helping us to do that. And we made the decision to go with Schoolbox because basically when we interviewed our boys, they said it was the best product that they liked. So this is the reason why we went down that path. But we started to engage with our parents and our um, teachers on what they think an LMS would actually look like for us at Scott's. But we actually hit a fork in the road because really we realised that we were dealing with more than just an LMS, that Schoolbox was actually a complete portal solution for us and we could either go down one track and design an LMS or we actually could design from scratch a whole complete portal. So we quickly changed the strategy that we had and we decided that we would build a portal that catered to all our audiences. We would make sure it was visually engaging and easy to use. It would contain all our curriculum content and all our communications content and all our college content and it would pretty much be a one-stop shop. So what have we been doing to kind of make our teachers happy? We've actually been taking advantage of the templating in Schoolbox. We use a lot of it. We've actually been making a conscious decision to use a lot of visual imagery and tiles across most of our pages. And we've also been making sure the one sort of rule and mantra that we have is no more than three clicks. If it's more than three clicks away, it's too hard to get to and we have to rethink the navigation. So what we wanted to do is just give you a little bit of a look on some of our pages. And this is a curriculum page. This is a course page. And you can see from here each um, sort of course has its own banner. It also has some information on the outline and we've used Google Docs to put our scope and sequence documents and our um, assessment guidelines which then can be updated by teachers. And our parents asked us for a link to the syllabus so every single page has that consistent approach with that tile. This is a page um, that is open to our parents and will be open to our parents when we're live. But going down another level, these are our unit pages and we took a slightly different approach with how we would build these. We actually just shelled them together and put the outline in and we've been setting our teachers targets and their responsibility is in term three, build content for term four, in term four, build for term one. But you can see we're operating on the same kind of visual approach, visually engaging, the use of the same tile to take you back to the course level um, and the course um, builder and we're insisting that the course builder is on every page. Now, this is a challenge for teachers who've never worked collaboratively together, who want to put everything on their class page, but really we're trying to pull them back to use the, um, to use the course, uh, sorry, the unit page. And this is our class pages. And this is where we've given our teachers the most flexibility. They're allowed to put in whatever they like as long as they import the course builder in when it's applicable, and they actually then um, use the big ideas and key, um, key questions. So these are going to take a lot of different short forms and shapes. Our prep school, again, like all prep schools, they don't want to have the same as everybody else and it doesn't need to be as granular. So our prep schools, we have a campus page and this has a lot of curriculum information, information from our head of school, but it's designed that our parents get to see this information. Our prep school are far more open to our parents being, all the way, being able to see all the way to the classroom. And going down another level to our year page, this is probably where I would say it's the core of our um, prep pages at the moment. Visually engaging, pictures of all our teachers on the pages, um, videos and um, images of what's been going on in the classroom and an overview from the teacher in year four. And you can actually see, we can go down again to the class pages which are still in development. So that's just trying to give you a little bit of a snapshot of what's been really driving our school box project. Um, we're not live, we're in what we're calling build phase. So I'm going to um, hand over to Susan who's going to talk about the more the communications component of this portal. Thanks Shelley. <laughs> um, hi everyone, as Shelley mentioned my name is Susan Ali and I'm the Director of Communications at Scots College. Um, I'd like to start by saying that I started at Scots um, just 
over 12 months ago and we were just in the process of selecting Schoolbox as being our provider for our learning management system. What we found very early on in the piece is that we actually needed more than just the learning management system. I've got a slide up there that you can have a look at. That is the current communication landscape at Scott's. So what we're dealing with is a school with about 2,000 boys, 350 staff, um, a, com a, a very large community that is heavily involved with the school and a communications mess, essentially. I've, put, I've actually put the numbers up there so you can have a look at the enormity of what we're trying to do here and why we are using Schoolbox as our all-in solution because we believe that Schoolbox is going to provide us with everything that we need. Um, so if we just have a look at that, approximately 16,834 email announcements. That is actual announcements out to the community, out to, out to boys, out to, to staff. We've got about 50 plus Facebook pages at the moment that are branded with the Scots College logo that are uncontrolled and really high risk for us. We've got 108 e-newsletters that get distributed per year. That's about one newsletter per year per, um, per campus, essentially. So we're actually dealing with a really massive scale communication issue. And on top of that, we've got an existing student management system called Pipeline which up until this point has really done the job that it needed to do. But we've conducted a review to try and determine how we can migrate content across. So our strategy is looking at having a one system that fits all but tailored towards our audiences. So if you look at our audiences and the information that we're looking at building, it is specific pages for students, specific for staff, parents, our old boys, potentially prospective families when we get to that point, and the community. So we actually want to have a tailored solution and we want to do it right and we will not um, settle for second best. We want to get it right before we turn it on. And we are actually nowhere near that and we're happy to say that we won't turn on the button until it actually mm. is the, a world-class system because this is going to be the system that we will use. Now, I know that Matt wants to steal... Um, I mean, that's the noise that we're dealing with. And Matt was saying that um, he wants to steal this, but I'm going to try and copyright it. What we have done with our system is we actually, I'm just going to skip through this because we're running out of time. But so, Schoolbox is not an option for us at Scott's. Schoolbox is the option. So what I mean by that, and yeah, you can, you, you can pay me for rights that later <laughs> and I'll be happy to give you that, lo that slogan. But essentially, what that means for us is when we created a dashboard, and there's a sample of a dashboard, we actually want single sign-in to take you straight into Schoolbox, not the other way around. So it's not actually an option that sits on the side of your, of your system and says, you can go into Schoolbox whenever you want to, but you can also go into your email separately. No, you go into Schoolbox to get into your emails, to get into your calendar, into your Google Drive, put in a service request, and also link back to our existing, existing student management system, which is Pipeline. And once Synergetics is up and running, we'll be able to migrate, mi migrate that across. So our dashboard is pretty simple. Our layout is very consistent in every single page that you go with. We use a lot of tiles. We have a banner on every single page. Um, this news page right here, we, it's not ordered right, so we'll need to talk about how the ordering happens. But you have general <laughs> news. Yeah, because... Because we actually want the general news to appear first, but apparently whatever you load latest actually comes up. So let's talk about that. But general, <laughs> <laughs> general news, prep news, senior school news, events, lost and found, harpoon, they're pretty much the main kind of categories for news. Um, and then I'm just going to take you to a Scots services page because like I said, Scots actually has about... 150 staff that are not actually teaching staff. So we do have a business um, side of the college. And so in saying that, we tried to use tiles just as a navigation point. You land on this page and instantly, with the three-click approach, you end up where you need to be, whether it be in the staff services area, ICT, in our catering, catering area, facilities and maintenance, our business office. We did the same thing. So that's what will land once you go through to a particular area. Same thing, visually stimulating with a banner, tiles. 
We don't have an online community at Scots. People don't know who's, who sits in which team at this point in time. We're creating an online community. Every page that you land on will have your team. It'll have the images of your team. So we're really trying to create you know, online communication and collaboration as well as this learning management system on the side. So it's an all-encompassing system. Um, and so if you take a look at our curriculum side, because obviously, let's face it, we are a school. We want to get the curriculum side just as good. You land on this page. There's our faculties. There's our dean of, um, oh, sorry, our um, uh, head of curriculum. Then if you go into any of these categories, you will land on the faculty that's relevant to you. The teams will be there. So it's really exciting for us. Um, we're really excited. We're, we're so early in the journey. It's been 12 months. We're still in build phase. Um, I would love Anna to come and consult with yeah. us. I think we, we, um, we want to have best practice and we want to use your system for everything, communications and learning, um, yeah, for all of our communications and learning needs. Thank you. Thanks.